Hello, uh, in our previous video uh, we designed a, a radial turbine blade uh, using ANSYS tools. Uh, we started out with WIST RTD, uh, then went through the uh, blade design, blade gen tools, and then analyzed the solution with uh, true flow uh, solver. And you know, looked at our design, see how it, how it worked. Uh, now what I would like to do is uh, take a closer look at the uh, blade design tool, uh, which essentially is a mainline 1D blade design tool. So let's double click on it and uh, you know as we've worked on it before, essentially we have uh, two sets of inputs. Uh, a key part is the operating conditions uh, where we define the incoming uh, gas flow in this case because it's turbine that there's hot combusted air coming in the temperature pressure uh, mass flow rate and then we can we have control over the expansion ratio it's a key part of our design as well as rotational speed and uh, also blade speed ratio is required uh, and uh, then uh, you know uh, we need to define some efficiencies we can just use uh, you know uh, correlation Schumann or Bates uh, as available and you know, uh, you know some nozzle efficiency we can uh, use the fuel select our working fluid properties and some uh, flow angles the other set of inputs are some uh, limitations on the geometry uh, like the shroud exit to inlet radius ratio or hub exit inlet ratio, uh, number of vanes for our design, uh, mean vane thickness at the exit, and then uh, the axial length. One could use a correlation or you can specify it. So what I would like to do in this video is maybe start with these uh, geometry changes and kind of see the impact, right? Uh, so if we were to, you know, an axial length makes sense, you know, uh, right now what you see is this blade shape. If we, you know, went to say about 35%, we'll hit enter. If we do a calculate, it's going to very quickly calculate uh, and come up with a new design. And what you've seen is uh, the blade design got uh, shorter and fatter. So that's kind of, you know, what we have with the, Ax axial length impact Tip clearances we'll, we'll look at that uh, la later on maybe uh, let's look at the diameter impact you know that's probably easier to see so shroud to inlet radius let's make this real s small and hit calculate and you know let's take a quick picture of our domain kind of you know here on the side we do calculate and see it, it had a huge impact on the geometry and kind of uh, generated the wrong looking <laughs> turbine blade so probably you know 70 to 80 percent range where uh, is it's, it's going to provide you know a more reasonable shape okay so that's that impact let's look at the hub exit Inlet ratio default is to let's try 0.4 and again let's do a calculate and let's see so essentially what it did is it, it pulled in the hub made this distance shorter so this you know gives us a good idea on, on uh, you know what what the geometric controls we have all right so what happens you know I'm kind of curious what what happens if we uh, you know change some of the uh, operating conditions you know would our blade shape adjust uh, accordingly to that what's the impact how, how big is it so again let's take a picture of our you know reference of our reference shape and let's decrease the mass flow rate you know maybe go to the half the mass flow rate if you do a calculate it is going to 
change and it does have a significant impact looks like you know kind of made made the whole uh, blade shorter uh, not much thinner but but you know they're definitely shorter and made the inlet a little smaller okay so let's go back to our you know baseline so we can and again you know it goes back okay so that's the effect of the mass flow rate what about the expansion ratio what if you know we go from 2.2 to 3 okay, let's see and seem like you know that that did not have much impact on the geometry okay so let's go back to our 2.2 and does rotational speed you know let's go from 100,000 to maybe double it see what type of impact it's going to have on our design and uh, looks like maybe that was pushing it too much Maybe let's go to a lower value, 1000 RPM. And that, that really had a big impact. It really does not look like a, you know, a reasonable turbine blade, but you know, that's what it is. So we're back to 100,000, you know, back to our shape. And um, what if, you know, we, we had a very bad, we expect much worse efficiency. Will that, how does that, you know, impact the general design? Let, let's see if we see anything. So it essentially wanted to make, make the uh, inlet wider so it can compensate for that poor efficiency. So let's go back to our value. Let's recalculate and we can essentially, we'll see the nozzle inlet change a little bit and all right I've, I feel kind of curious about the inlet angle let's do a zero relative inlet angle will that have much of an impact it does not seem to it probably had more of an impact on the velocity triangles which uh, is another set of results so let's go back Let's turn this off. Let's do a recalculate. And yes, we, we can, you know, essentially let's save these. Okay, put it on the side. Let's do a zero inlet, recalculate. Look at our velocity triangles. You, you know, you can see a little bit of a difference it really did not have a very notable impact on the solution all right so this concludes uh, my presentation on the uh, blade design tool uh, thank you so much for your interest have a good day